This week, we highlight another life well lived. American presidents passed through the White House four or eight years at a time before moving out of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and into the history books. For some 50 years, though, one man always was there. Wilson Roosevelt German served 11 presidents from Dwight Eisenhower to Barack Obama as a beloved White House butler. German grew up poor in rural South Carolina, the son of a farm worker. He left school at the age of 12 to begin working himself. Wilson started a family with his wife Gladys and moved north to Washington, where he found work with a catering company. On the job, he met a White House butler named Eugene Allen, whose own story is the inspiration for the acclaimed 2013 movie, The Butler. In 1957, Allen persuaded German to take a cleaning job in the Eisenhower White House. German became a favorite of the Kennedys. First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy promoted him to butler. German recalled finding a private room at the White House to weep when President Kennedy was assassinated in late November of 1963. In 1966, Gladys, only in her 30s, was gravely ill with lupus. President Lyndon Johnson sent his personal doctors to the Germans' home, along with meals of lobster and filet mignon. Former First Lady Michelle Obama, who included a photograph of German in her recent best-selling memoir, said this week, With his kindness and care, Wilson German helped to make the White House a home for decades of first families, including ours. It's a sentiment echoed by our friend and former first daughter, Jenna Bush Hager. People will say like, gosh, how could you have made, how, how was the White House? Didn't it, was it, did it feel like home? And the reason why it felt like home was because of people like him. Wilson Roosevelt German, eyewitness to a half century of White House history, died last weekend of coronavirus at a hospital in Woodbridge, Virginia. He was 91 years old.